So in order to do this, you can either use an RGE A10 like this. Just tap it right so that it lines up just like, there we go. And then you can just say respawn there. Or you can get an a A10 that you own. And without RG, you can just land it here. Just um, lower your speed, turn around, and line it up onto the catapult again. Just like that. So basically what you do first, turn it on as normal. Just right side, middle, left side. And then we're getting to want to do now is just full throttle. Just like that. That's all the way up. And so now we're just gonna wait for this gauge here to go past the middle top uh, notch. And once it does that, we're gonna press K and L at the same time. So what this does is even though it's starting only one engine, once this one's done, it would immediately start turning on the other engine. So that's all I have to do with uh, the engines. I won't have to like wait for this right one to go all the way up and then press K or L to turn up the left one. So yeah, that just makes that a lot easier. And so now what you want going to want to do is to just get out of your A10. So uh, one way to get out is to press F and H at the same time. And what that does is it closes your canopy at the same time you get out. And that's so that when you get back into your A10, it looks better, like more cinematic, the way that um, it just takes off and you won't have to close the canopy yourself, it's just already closed. So anyways, um, as we can see here, if we go in third person, we're looking at the gauges and we see that the left RPM has already been quite past the right side of the top middle notch. And that means that the A10 is ready to catapult. And so the way this works is that since it's already on full throttle, once I get in, then it's just going to immediately take off. And that works because the A10 only moves when there is a player in it. If there's no player in it, then it just it's just um, in the position that it was when you got out, in this case. Uh, not moving at all. So, also another thing, the longer you wait, even though it's already ready, the longer you wait, the faster it takes off, and if you wait the longest amount of time, I don't know how long, but it may be a minute or something, but then once you take off, you just immediately go to 400 airspeed. So I'm just going to wait a little bit for it for that and looks good enough so I'll just get in and just a warning once you get in there's going to be a, a bump upwards but and you're gonna have to control the A10 because it's gonna swerve a little bit so there's a bump oh shit. okay well so that was one of the more not smooth takeoffs it's, which is pretty rare, even though it's kind of weird first time I did it. But anyways, as you can see, we got immediately up to 400 airspeed, and we just took off immediately, just like that. And so, that's how you catapult, just like that. I'm just going to do a quick landing here, and try it again a lot more smooth this time, because that was not a good example at all. So I'm just going to kill my engines to decrease my airspeed very fast. A good landing speed for the aircraft carrier is, I'd say, around 160, below that, maybe. So, gotta make sure your gears are down right there. If you don't know if uh, these three little things light up green, then that means that your gear is down. And just like that, we have landed. Not the smoothest landing either, but works. It's good enough. Also, another thing, make sure not to fall into this yellow outline there. There is um, no there's no barrier there, so you just fall straight through it. Anyways, so now that I have lined up right here, 
what I can do now is just, I'm just gonna open my canopy, kill one, one, only one of my engines, just so I can get back in the fastest, turn it back on, and then do the canopy thing. Alright, and just like that, it's ready to catapult again. So, anyways, um, let's see the RPM here. RPM looks good. I'm not sure why it's not moving any further than that, but it's good enough. Anyways, I'll just get in here. Let's try to get smooth to take off this time. Oh, oh, I've, oh, that's why. I forgot to turn on my throttle. Also, just side note, try not to use this catapult here, or... The, oh, my. It's a little too fast. Or these two catapults here. This one here, maybe, but the rest are just very inconsistent. They're very, um, you would most likely crash if you use them. That's why this one here is the safest one to use. It's got the flattest surface to take off of, and it's just the best one to use overall. So just try to line up on this one only. Anyways, A10 should be ready now. Getting back in. A little bump there. Oh man. I joined Dallas BMC. Okay, better work this time. Let's see. A little bump there. Oh, here we go. Smooth takeoff. There we go, that's it. Now that's how it's aircraft carrier take off what it should look like. It's always gonna have that little bump at the beginning, but after that, should be pretty smooth from there. Just gonna buzz the tower really quick. Meow. That's really it for this video, so yeah, just remember to join on us, BMC. And, alright, so yeah, see you guys next time.